Hi guys, this is a episode in a new series I'm putting together, which is aimed at anyone who's interested in migrating from MT4 to MT5. And I'll be considering topics such as how to migrate your expert advisors from one platform to the other, but also looking at some of the great capabilities of MT5 that you'll want to take advantage of. And it's one of these that I'm going to be talking about in today's short episode where I'll be looking at the multi-core capability in terms of backtesting your strategies. So let's take a look. In the MT5 strategy tester, you'll notice a new tab called Agents. And to dramatically increase the speed at which your backtests are undertaken, an agent is allocated to each of the cores on your PC. Now this is very different to MT4, where regardless of the number of cores you have, only one of these is able to be used at a time for backtesting. And so in theory, if you have eight cores, your backtests could be eight times quicker. Now the actual gains won't quite reach eight times because of other shared resources, but it does get close. This is a really good reason to migrate to the MT5 platform. And there's nothing that you need to code into your EA to make it multi-core enabled. MT5 just takes care of that for you. Now, there is one small gotcha that I want to make you aware of. And this probably won't apply to the vast majority of people, especially if you're only testing against single symbols. However, for those of you that, like me, use multi-symbol testing, and for me personally, I test against 22 symbols simultaneously, you do need to make sure you've got enough memory on your PC. And this is because each of the cores will be using memory to store the price data of all of those 22 symbols. So to get over this problem, I have 32 gigabytes of memory, as you can see here. If you've got a lot less than this, then it is likely that you will fall into problems. So let me show you an example of exactly how that will manifest itself. I'm going to run a very quick back test and use the task manager to illustrate the point. So as you can see here, before I've started the test, I'm only utilizing 17% of memory and that will be for the operating system and the other applications that are running. Now I've set a test up here to test far more symbols than I would normally do in order to show you the issue that you might come up against. So if I just now start this optimization, you'll notice each of the agents is now busy and from what I understand, this is a process of reading in the relevant price data and so on. And you can see here that 15 individual sets of parameters have been allocated to each core on the computer. Now I want you to look at what's happening to the memory. As you can see, as that data is being read in, the memory is going up. Also pay attention to the disk here. And you can see that this is very low at the moment. So 4%, 1%. But watch what happens when the memory gets used up. So we're starting to see now disk activity increase. And for anyone that understands how computers work, you'll know straight away what's happening here. Because memory is maxed out, paging is being used to disk. And you'll know that when this happens, this can slow your PC down considerably. Disk I.O. is one of the slowest operations and significantly slower than I.O. operations with memory. And as you can see now, disk is maxed out also at 100%. And so the point I'm trying to make here is that if you haven't got sufficient memory, then this will severely impact the speed of your backtests. Now, if this does happen, there is something you can do to alleviate the issue you can disable some of the agents. So let me do that now. You just right click on an agent and say disable. So if I disable, let's say three of those, the first thing you notice is that my memory consumption has fallen. And that's as the memory has been released from those three agents that I've now disabled. And what you now notice is that memory is significantly lower now that it's stabilized than it was here. And the effect of that is that paging to disk is no longer required. And as you can see, the disk activity has also dropped significantly. 
And so because we haven't got that disk I.O. slowing us down, even though we're only now running on five agents instead of eight, the backtest will complete significantly quicker. Now the real answer to this, of course, is to purchase more memory so that you don't hit this problem. But if you do, then this is a good alternative to disable those agents. Now, like I say, for most people, this will not be an issue. It certainly won't be an issue if you're only testing a single symbol or maybe five or six symbols. It's only when you get to those big numbers and huge amounts of price data have to be read into memory. Okay, so be sure to look out for other similar videos in the future. And until then, please do give me a like and share a link to the video and also subscribe if you're not already. And then until next time, trade safe.